So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in ZW Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's it, YouTube? Dow here from Zephyr War Games, and as you can see, um, we have got some or of confirmation of the promos that we receive in the Mega Tins or the Gold Sarcophagus Tins. Um, and as you can see from YGO Organization is where all this information comes. Uh, I'm going to breeze over the fist of the gadget kind of imports and changes that we're going to get as well. And I'm going to go in more in depth in the promo cards that we receive in um, the Mega Tins. Now obviously this is where it gets really, really important because these are the artworks that we've been waiting on. Um, the new signed um, artworks quite like the old lot where there was a Jinzo Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes and so on. These ones are actually really, really cool and some of them really, really help certain decks out as well. So, without further ado, I'm going to scroll through this very, very quickly uh, and just show you exactly what we've got. So, we get, of course, the Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, the new Link monster from Link Vrains Pack 2 in Fist of the Gadgets and it is called Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Eagle. And we also receive from the OCG's 20th Anniversary Editions, Volumes 1, 2, 3, and 4, is we re receive Archfiend's Awakening, Archfiend's Manifestation, Archfiend's Called, and Archfiend Ascent. From the Weekly Jump promo, we receive Rastaliga, I believe that's right. Uh, and then from the Structure Deck Master Link, we also receive Latency, Swap Cleric, um, Death Combird, Probit Snake, Code Radiator, uh, Spool Code, Cyanet Optimization, Cyanet Conflict, Shooting Code Talker, L Phase, um, Talk Back Lancer, Code Talker. Now it gets really, really interesting. As you can see from the Gold Sarcophagus tins, um, we get the brand new arts of Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon, Magician of Black Chaos Max, Exodia the Legendary Defender, Palladium Oracle Mana, Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon, and Neo Kaiser Glider. Now, um, if you saw from the previous thing, I think it was from San Diego Comic Con that you saw the leaks that the Exodia was going to be in there as it was in one of the promo packs as a prismatic rare. So I'm hoping that the rest of these are also going to be prismatics as well when we officially get them. Um, and the first thing I read was that the Megatins, you were going to get two of the promo, two of these um, in each of the promo packs. I'm hoping these are just going to be a flat out promo pack because I don't want them to like short print any of these and make them harder to get. Anyway, um, let's go into exactly what each of them do. So we'll start off with the Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. Look at that. What a beast. And if this comes out in Prisma, I'm going to be so happy. So it's a level 12 fusion monster. It requires three blue eyes ride dragons, no surprise there. Um, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Once per turn, you can target one card your opponent controls, or up to three instead if this card was fusion summoned using a monster whose original name was blue eyes alternative white dragon as material. Destroy them. This card cannot attack the turn if this effect is activated. So you can actually just pop up three cards in the turn. Just go poof, poof, poof. Um, <clears throat> and it's cards as well, so it's not just monsters, which is really, really cool. Looks amazing. Um, it does specifically state that it requires three blue eyes white dragons. Um, so to be able to use blue eyes alternative white dragon, obviously because it counts as blue eyes on the field, I believe. Um, so you just need to make sure you've got one of them on board. Um, and it just says using a monster whose original name was. It doesn't say using all three monsters. So as long as you get an alternative on the board and then you have two blue eyes in your hand, you just go poof, straight into this with a fusion uh, and off you go. Okay, so this is my favorite one. Look at the artwork. Absolutely stunning. This better come in prismatic rare. Um, and, you know, the artist behind this is absolutely amazing. These... these you know, there's a reason why their artworks are sought after. And the only one that I know we don't have currently, but one of his artworks, is Magi Magi Girl. And it's stupid the reason we don't have it, purely because... Here we go. When the advertisement goes away. This is the artwork for Magi Magi Girl. Now, <clears throat> the issue is here in the TCG, they want to censor it. They want to make her bust a little bit smaller, and they want to try and cover up the amount of skin that's being shown. And the artist, quite rightfully, uh, and I think it also relates to this pentagram here, um, doesn't want his artwork tampered with. He doesn't want it changed. And I completely agree with that. I'm not saying that <clears throat> this is kind of... I don't think it's that offensive. I don't think it's that um, exposed. 
But I can see where, the, obviously, the TCG lines kind of get drawn and they do try and change it up a little bit. Hopefully in the future, TCG will kind of bend a little bit and go, all right, it's not as bad as we think it is. We'll allow you to have it. Now, it's effect is stupid. Um, just to confirm, we do not get this in the tin. I'm just going to go over this one quickly. So it does require two level six spell casters, so it is specific. But you detach one material from this card and banish one card from your hand, then activate one of these effects. Type one monster your opponent controls, take control of it until the end phase. Target one of your opponent's um, one monster in your opponent's graveyard and special summon it. So it's a cool call of the haunted technically, uh, or a monster reborn, um, and it, it's a change of heart, which its effects are stupidly powerful. There's no argument about that. Um, it's just disappointing that we can't have this because of his artwork. Anyway, back to the ones we get in the tins, and this one is my favourite. So, it is a dark level 8 spellcaster ritual monster. Um, it does require chaos form. However, you can ritual summon this, you can ritual summon this card with chaos form. You can only use each of the following effects of Magician of Black Chaos once per turn. If this card is special summoned, you can tribute one monster. For the rest of this turn, your opponent cannot activate monster effects. Boom. When this card destroys an opponent's, mon uh, when it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, target one spell or trap in your graveyard and add it to your hand so it recycles. Very, very nice. Now, if this card is special summoned, which means, and the fact that it is not it must be used with Chaos Form, gives you so much play in your Dark Magician deck. So, you bring this guy out. Let's say you go with the tech of playing Cosmic Queen, or you go with the tech of playing Blue Eyes Alternate Dragon, anything like Blue Eyes Ultimate, Blue Eyes Max, anything like that, you kind of play in a tech card for this. You can also play Advanced Ritual Art, which is the trap card, uh, is it Advanced Ritual Art? I believe it's the trap card that lets you ritual summon. So it's a trap card that you use during your opponent's turn, ritual summon into this guy, and then you tribute himself off, and your opponent can't use monster effects during their turn. So Dark Magician have their own personal Azathoth. Alternatively, because it is if this card is special summoned, you can also start playing stuff like Call of the Grave, uh, sorry, Call of the Haunted, Back to the Front, anything like that. Um, that allows you to tribute off a monster, um, or special summon this guy, tribute off a monster, you then can as a fought your opponent. Which is something Dark Magician actually really, really needed, is they needed something that could combat the meta, um, and kind of cause your opponent a bit of issue. Anyway, love this card, love the artwork, and I'm definitely going to be playing this when I get it. Um, the only downside is it is a level 8, so it doesn't mean you have to alternate, um, alternate your Dark Magicians a little bit more, um, but there are kind of ways to play around that as well. Next up is Exodia, um, the Legendary Defender. It is a dark level 10 spellcaster. Cannot be special summoned. You can tribute 5 monsters to tribute summon, but not set this card. This card's attack and defense become the combined original attack and defense of the tributed monsters. If this card summoned this way destroys a dark fiend monster owned by your opponent, you win the duel at the end of the damage step. So I think when this the effect was announced, um, again, the artwork is absolutely stunning. When this was announced, um, there was a lot of people trying to figure out ways of giving your opponent a Dark Fiend. Um, but then you still have to tribute five monsters to get this guy out on board. Yes, it will be an insanely big powerhouse. It doesn't have any built-in protection, so like if they activate a Mirror Force, Magical Cinder, stuff like that. Um, not that they get played massively these days. They are going to stop you, or if they have a way of popping your monster, they are going to stop you as well. Um, it's a very, very niche card. I don't think it's going to see huge amounts of play in any particular deck, um, but it is going to be very, very powerful. Um, obviously, it does say Prismatic Rare. Let me just check on these ones as well. Yeah, so these ones don't have the confirmation yet at the bottom that it says right here. Um, release date, 29th of this month, the number code, and then the Gold Sarcophagus Tins and Prismatic Rare. Palladium Oracle Manor. This is obviously the Dark Magician Girl version of Oracle Mahard. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be when I first had this announced. So it's a level 6 light spellcaster. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets one spellcaster monster you control and no other cards. While this card is in your hand or graveyard, quick effect, special summon this card. Only use the effect of um, Palladium Oracle Manor once per turn. Level 7 or higher spellcaster monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one Dark Magician Girl from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Now, the only good thing about this, in a sense, is that once Eternal Soul gets nuked, if this card is on your board, it will protect your level 7 or higher spellcasters. However, you need to get this on the board. It means your opponent has to either affect Veiler, your uh, affect Veiler or in permanence, your um, apprentice or your rod. Now, again, very, very specific. It shouldn't have said target at least. It, it should have been just targets a card you control. 
because then if they target Eternal Soul to pop it, bounce it, spin it, anything like that, you can summon this down. Um, and it doesn't actually negate, so it pretty much has, I think the Golem, Witchcraft the Golem has kind of already power crept this. If this card had the effect of Witchcraft the Golem, um, it would be a heck of a lot better. Uh, it's still very, very cool artwork. That little, um, like, Pharaoh Karibo, I think, is pretty cool. Um, it's a good card. Definitely going to be picking up play set standard as. It'll probably make you want to play um, Observatory a little bit more in your Dark Magician deck. Um, but I don't think it's a card that's going to be toppling the deck itself. I'm going to save the Red Eyes Ultimate for the last one because it's really, really cool. Neo Kaiser Glider. Again, artwork stunning. This, oh, this artist is amazing. Um... Level 6, Light Dragon, you can discard this card and one monster, then target one dragon normal monster in your graveyard, special summon it. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can make all monsters your opponent currently controls lose 500 attack until the end of this turn. Only use each effect of Neo Kaiser Glide Art once per turn. So it's a nice little revival for Blue Eyes. Um, it is a Light, it is a level 6. Um, not amazing, but again, it can put in a bit of work for you. Now onto the Red Eyes Alternative Dragon. Again, this is probably the best artwork of all of them. Just look at that. Absolutely stunning. Um, it is prismatic. I think this one's got see this one's got a conf confirmation that it's going to be prismatic, which is amazing. Um, cannot be normal summon or set. Must first be special summon from your hand by tributing one Red Eyes monster from your hand or field. You can only special summon Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon once per turn this way. If this card is destroyed by battle, or if this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, so at one level 7 or lower, Red Eyes monster in the graveyard accepts itself, special summon it, um, and if that summoned monster is a Red Eyes Black Dragon, double its original attack. So again, not as amazing as a Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon, however, it does allow you just to tribute one Red Eyes monster, so you can get a level 7, 2400 um, Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon onto the board, just by tributing a Red Eyes monster. Um, it can only be special summoned once per turn, and then if it's destroyed by battle, or if this card in its own possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect. Now, cards that have these clauses on them are getting le less and less um, abused in the sense that people are just bouncing them, that there's more ways to bounce, there's more ways to um, nullify their effects, there's just more ways to get around them, um, so you can't always rely on that. It does allow you to bring out a Red Eyes in Graveyard, and the whole idea, that, or the way you'd probably work this way, is you'd special summon this um, with a Red Eyes in Graveyard, swing into one of your opponent's monsters, take the damage, let it be destroyed, and then resurrect a Red Eyes um, in the Graveyard and double its original attack. Um, so that's kind of where you'll go from there in that sense. The artwork is probably the best. It is very, very powerful, and it is a full card that I'll definitely be trying to get my hands on. Um, so that is it. That is it for all of the announcements or the confirmations of the tin promos. We did have a high um, expectation that these were going to be in the tins, especially when the Exodia was leaked. Um, now we have full confirmation. I am hoping that these are going to be like, I say mandatory. These are going to be like guaranteed pickups in the tins. Um, they they seem to be doing a lot of changes with the tins. I think the rarities are going to be going all over the place. Um, where in the past, if it was a secret in the old set, it would be a secret in this set. It seems like they might kind of change it around, which is both good and bad. It's good that they might be giving more prismatic rares in the tin as well. Um, hopefully they're easy to pick up and they're not like one every two cases. We'll definitely be opening up a case. So we'll be able to see that um, and we'll kind of go from there. And then I hope, like I said, that these are guarantees in the, the tins because, you know, cards like this, they should be promos that people get just by buying the product. Um, anyway, that is it for the video. I'm going to leave it on my favourite card. There we go. Yay! Um, I'm going to definitely find ways to play around with this one and get, get this one out and abused as much as possible. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, we are pushing towards that 15,000 subscriber mark, so please do subscribe, share the channel, um, get everyone that loves Yu-Gi-Oh! involved, um, and check out all the videos we've got coming out. If you do have any specific requests, um, any type of videos you would like us to do, then please put them in the comments down below. We are quite responsive to both our social medias on Facebook and, of course, the comments down below. And we're more than happy to um, provide what we can. So for now, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And as always, guys, happy dueling. What's up, YouTube? Dad here from Zephyr Normal Games. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, please hit that big thumbs up button in the bottom corner as well. And don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Make sure you click that notification bell as well so you know every time one of our new videos goes up. 
Throughout the whole year of 2019, we're going to have more deck profiles, duels, and of course, pack openings for you guys to watch and enjoy the entire year round. So stay tuned for more, and as always guys, happy dueling.